Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock and today I'm pretty excited because we're gonna have a little bit of fun here and I'm gonna tell you guys six games that I feel you personally cannot miss out on on the Nintendo Switch. Now I know what you're thinking, you're gonna be like, okay, well there's Legend of Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild, and there's Super Mario Odyssey, and there's uh, Mario Kart Deluxe, and there's Splatoon 2. No, 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 these are games that you might not have even heard of yet that are coming to the Switch. So I'm going to ignore the obvious must-have titles. We're gonna talk about six games that are not so obvious, but at the same time, very, very cool. And uh, I can't wait to talk with you guys about them. So let's not waste any more time. Let's, let's get into the list. So first up is Snipper Clips. Now I'm well aware that this game isn't exactly a hidden gem because it's uh, it's quite well known by now, uh, but it's still one of the lower tier games currently announced for Nintendo Switch. Basically, I think this game needs and deserves all of the attention it could possibly get. The concept in this game is quite unique and silly. You control these wacky basic shaped characters and when you overlap their bodies, you can cut away and form them into different shapes. In doing this, you'll be able to solve puzzles in many stages. Popping balloons, moving a pencil into a pencil sharpener, and even slam dunking a basketball. Snipper Clips is for one to four players and it requires a lot of cooperating with friends in multiplayer, so it is absolutely sure to get everyone giggling and yelling at each other while you play, which for me is what multiplayer gaming is all about. As of right now, Nintendo has said that Snipper Clips will be launching in March, but there is a chance it might even be launch day on March 3rd, so I guess we'll have to keep an eye out. Goner is another uniquely stylish game, but as you can see, it's much more mysterious. This game really caught my eye due to just how different it looks and plays. Basically, it's a side-scrolling platformer game, but it's got loads of twists everywhere you look. For one thing, the level is procedurally generated all around you as you move. You play as a character who's trying to cheer up their best friend who happens to be a land-bound whale. Your job is to find trinkets to cheer her up. There's a ton of fast-paced shooting action, strange enemies, and when you take damage, your character falls to pieces and you have to recollect them to continue on. The music is pretty atmospherical and perfectly fits the art style. It's a very out there game and it's quite unique. So I really think it's an upcoming Switch eShop title that you really should keep your eye on. As of right now, we don't really have a release date for Goner, but we do know that the developer will be talking more about their games coming to Switch in March at GDC. Want a new F-Zero game for Nintendo Switch? Well, it might not have the same level of personality, but Fast RMX is an intense, futuristic racing game that shares a lot in common with the F-Zero series. Not only does this game have absolutely gorgeous modern visuals that run at 1080p 60 frames per second, but you can play with up to four players via split screen, eight players locally, and eight players online. There are 30 tracks to choose from and lots of cool, futuristic vehicles to pilot. Like I said, it's a lot like an F-Zero game. Heck, the developer even hired the voice actor who was the announcer in F-Zero GX for Fast RMX. Uh, this is hands down one of the most technically ambitious indie games on Switch. I love the developer Shin and Multimedia. They always deliver big time. This is absolutely a game to keep your eye on. Fast RMX will be launching on Nintendo Switch in March of this year. Next up is the platforming puzzle game called Snake Pass. I, I feel like this game is really neat because it plays on the idea of making the player think like a snake. You slither around on the ground and instead of jumping across platforms like Mario or a traditional platforming character, you have to curl and twist around bamboo poles and other structures in the level to make your way around. There are a lot of collectibles and hazards to avoid, just like a normal platformer, but since your character is a snake that is heavily relying on physics, it's definitely a fresh, inventive take on the formula. When I first saw videos for Snake Pass, I was, I was instantly excited about it. I'm a huge fanboy of this game already. I really love the art style and character design. Uh, everything kind of has like a Disney look to it, I feel, or maybe even kind of rare. Uh, also worth mentioning is David Wise, speaking of rare, David Wise is the composer for the music in this game, uh, and it sounds great so far. I learned about Snake Pass a couple of weeks ago, and the more I watch it, the more excited I become. The game launches on Nintendo Switch on the eShop on March 29th. 
In Tumble Seed, your goal is to climb up the top of a mountain. You play as a small little seed that you control by tilting a platform up and down. Along your way to the top, you'll encounter loads of obstacles and evil foes to take on, so keeping up your balance and your cool is pretty important here. Tumble Seed even has a bunch of abilities you can achieve to change up the gameplay. Uh, they more or less alter the type of seed you're using, which is, which is pretty neat. One of the seeds can summon rain clouds to fill in holes with water so that you don't fall into them. Another seed has spiky thorns around it that cause damage to nearby enemies. There's a lot of different things you can do with uh, different power-ups or abilities. Not everything is aggressive in this game though. You'll meet friends in the world who want to help you or even offer you extra challenges. I adore the simplistic, effective look of this game. There's also a great soundtrack to go along with the title's distinctive visuals and gameplay. Basically, everything about this title oozes charm, so I can't wait to play it. Currently, Tumble Seed is slated for a quarter one 2017 release on Nintendo Switch. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna talk a little bit about Rhyme. This game is so many things. Its story and settings are mysterious. The soft cell shaded art style is downright beautiful. It's got rewarding puzzle solving gameplay. It's creepy with its bizarre otherworldly characters and so much more. In some ways, it could be related to The Legend of Zelda, uh, but without the combat. In Rhyme, you progress the story along by mostly puzzle solving and exploring the vast unknown tropical island. The sound design in this game is phenomenal too. Not only does the music have a relaxing, peaceful vibe to it, but I also really love the ambient sound effects of the wind blowing or seagulls chirping, the waves crashing over by the ocean. It's hugely satisfying to just listen to this game based on gameplay and trailers. There's no doubt in my mind, I am going to really enjoy Rhyme, and thankfully it's now coming to the Nintendo Switch this spring. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully, uh, these six games that I have showed you guys here today are very intriguing to you, and you will keep your eyes peeled for when they release later on for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I had a lot of fun. I purposely set out to try and find more games that I maybe wasn't aware of, and I've discovered what I feel are six very cool little hidden gems, if you will. Uh, Snipper Clips is not exactly a hidden gem, nor is Rhyme, but nevertheless, they're games that are not so popular, not as many people talking about them, so hopefully this video has brought them to your attention. All right, guys, keep it locked right here to the Bip Lock for a lot more coverage on all things Nintendo Switch.